was born was born at a time when we were a kingdom she was born a native Hawaiian she lived as a native Hawaiian and she died as a native Hawaiian she was never an American Kamehameha schools was never started to be an American institution it was started as an institution to provide education with preference to native Hawaiian children Good evening. Kamehameha Schools Hawaiians First Admission Policy has been ruled illegal by an appeals court. The court says the school cannot discriminate based on race. The ruling was a victory for attorneys representing an unnamed non-Hawaiian student who had sought admission to Kamehameha. The boy's attorney says the ruling will allow the student to start 12th grade at Kamehameha in the next two to three weeks. School trustees vow to defend their policy and Bernice Pawahi Bishop's will to the U.S. Supreme Court. These schools were founded by a trust by one of the last princesses of Hawaii. This is not even a state institution, the school received no fund federal funding. So why should, you know, the princess who left all her money and her trust for the Native Hawaiian children, why, why is it, you know, why is it even an option? Why should we privilege non-Native Hawaiians over Native Hawaiians who can't even get in? I mean, if you're going to a school for Hawaiians and they're sort of building it around this fostering a Hawaiian identity, it would be hard for me to understand what this non-Hawaiian kid would get from the experience. And to think that there's all these other Hawaiian kids who could be in his place getting these skills and these opportunities, I think is just, it's horrible. There's so many Hawaiian children that try to get into commitment schools and there's only a certain amount of slots. And not everybody gets in. To say that now Native Hawaiians aren't really entitled to this kind of education, is just like an act of violence. The status of Hawaiians at this point is um, one big, huge challenge. We're the ones who are poor, we're the ones who don't have jobs, and we're not literate, and our young men are either in jail or they're killing themselves. Our health is not good. So I think in general, it's just the, being a Hawaiian person in Hawaii is just a big challenge. Not everybody owns a home or has a place to stay. You know, that's the reality. Kamehameha is one of the last vestiges for our community where our kids can get a quality education and they can provide opportunities that they otherwise wouldn't have access to. You know, it's a chance for students to get out of the cycle that their families have been in for generations. By taking away those opportunities, they're really doing a disservice to Hawaiian kids. was a show of pride and unity. Thousands gathered near Iolani Palace and marched to the tombs of Hawaiian royalty. Nearly 15,000 joined the march from Iolani Palace to Princess Bernice Pawahi Bishop's tomb at Mauna Ala. We went to the protest and it was very emotional, very emotional. We had elders there, we had babies there, we had families there, because this does affect the greater community because everybody knows somebody that went to commitment schools and they know it's supposed to stand for, for Native Hawaiian people, for the Native Hawaiian people. When you look at Kamehameha schools, everybody knew that it's a school for Hawaiian kids. And so even mainstream Hawaiians were like, this is ours and you can't touch it. Yes, this is once again another you know, strike to our community. But also I think in a way it's mobilized us even more.
they have taken our legs and expected us to stand for 112 years our land has been pilfered our dignity has been pillaged we do not live on a level playing field but we have always had kamehameha it is or should be the beacon from which we draw our strength most important way that non-Hawaiians can help is to educate other non-Hawaiians about what's happening with Hawaiian people. Whatever you learn, you pass it on to somebody else. And somebody will talk about it and they'll pass it on and it'll spark discussion and maybe bring more awareness to the situation. Education has, it's like the best gift. Once you truly understand all these issues, you can actually move to action. You can. Now the next step for Kamehameha Schools is to seek a larger panel of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, hoping that they can win there. If they do not, their next choice is the U.S. Supreme Court. With Kamehameha Schools, we have vowed that we are not, again, we are not going to give up Kamehameha Schools. No conditions. Kamehameha was a strong warrior, and I believe that to honor the legacy of that proud warrior, we cannot concede on any front, whether it in court or in the halls of Congress. Still I can see the light Better than one But I must kneel to fight Like when you understand like what social justice is and what like oppression's about it's like how could you want to take this away from someone someone else like why in like Kauai today is that justified when your culture and your language is taken away from you you don't even know who you are as a people you know you're not proud of who you are a lot of my generation is now realizing what has happened and they're trying to fight when non-Hawaiians ask you what they can do for Hawaiian people, basically this is the rundown. Can you give us land? If you can't give us land, can you give us money? If you can't give us money, can you give us food? <laughs> if you can't give us food, give us a lay and sit down and talk with us. <laughs>